Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. I can't really say I was enjoying the story too much of this game. It basically starts off with two Templar brothers saving the regular people from bandits. And then it turns into basically a hunt for the uh, Holy Grail, from what I'm understanding. And basically the Templar obviously isn't all good and they have to uncover secrets. And it's, it's very mixed and kind of boring to be honest. And there's some really dumb parts in the story, like the beast. Uh, yeah, not everything in the story is wonderful. I would say the voice acting is semi-solid. I feel that the dialogue is pretty off, and it feels like they are definitely reading from a script. And see, that's the problem when the voice acting isn't terrible, but the script itself is making the voice acting look worse than it actually is. Uh, there's really nothing special about the story. It's very slow paced. There's a lot of filler in between the levels, if you ask me, and the later companion you get, she just annoys the shit out of me because she pronounces lever, lever. I want to push the lever. It's the lever. Lever. Lever, bitch. I want to push the lever. Lever, motherfucker. Speak English. But yeah, the story isn't really that great, and it's probably the weakest part of the game. Wait, no, the graphics are the weakest part of the game. Let's go there. The production value is obviously low for the game. The developers do not hide it. It is a lower budget game. It's sold for a cheaper price. It just comes off very last generation. It would be better if they spent a little bit more money in the production value. The finishers look bad. The actual movements look stiff. The cutscenes are pretty much low budgeted shit. They don't really do much, and when the action goes on, it's pretty short and usually not that well done. So overall, the graphics are crap. The design is kind of cool. Reminds me a little bit of Assassin's Creed, because it's that you know, similar time period. But I can't really enjoy it too much when the actual power of the graphics are pretty much poop. Now... Let's talk about what's good about the game. The gameplay. It's actually not bad. I was actually having a pretty good time with it, and I'll get to it why. The gameplay works very easy. It's very, very straightforward hack and slash. What makes the gameplay actually fun is that the tree, the evolve tree, or whatever the hell you want to call it, is actually pretty in-depth. It has a lot of different paths, and you'll have to fight a lot of different things and do a lot of different side quests to unlock all these brand new moves and make your character stronger, give them more health, and so on. So it makes the gameplay more fun because you are essentially going to kill bad guys, get experience, and get new moves, so you'll be using a lot of new moves throughout the game. It makes it pretty fun throughout, and most of these moves are actually pretty fun to pull off, and they're unique in their own way. Each character has their own unique moves, especially the girl who pronounces lever, 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 bitch. Anyway, that girl throws knives, so her whole her move set is totally different from the main characters. So I really like that. <laughs> I would say that the game also puts these side quests in the game that are actually kind of fun and they're basically diversions throughout the level and they will give you experience. All good things. What's bad about it? Well, the gameplay can get repetitive. It's very, very straightforward hack slash. The first four or five levels suck because you haven't unlocked enough moves yet and you're basically just clicking X and blocking once in a while. Uh, I would say the bosses are extremely cheap. They are fucking on steroids later on. I mean, none of it is really hard, hard. It's just that moments they like they go they go batshit insane. It's like you just slap their mom or fuck their sister. I really don't know why they're so insanely powerful at moments. And other moments they're just walking around like yep, yep, and they just cut off their head. So I mean, it, it feels like it's going up and down the gameplay. 
gets a little tough at points, but mostly it's a very easy game and you go through it without any trouble. So overall, is First Templar's gameplay good? I wouldn't say it's great or anything, but it's decent enough, and especially from the story and graphics, I was expecting a lot worse. Sounds like I'm bitching a lot, and I'm sure the uh, the people that already are watching this and already hate me probably aren't even going to get to this part of the review. But don't get me wrong, I actually had some fun with First Templar. I'm actually recommending renting it, simply because it's fun for a few hours. It's actually a pretty lengthy game too. If you pick this game up for 15 bucks, 20 bucks, hell, you're getting at least a 12 hour game. So, what I'm telling you is, it's worth checking out. Am I saying it's a fucking great game? No. Am I saying it's even a good game? Not really. It is average. It is... Let me put it this way. I had more fun playing this than Brink. Brink had much better production value. Much, you know, a little more polishing. Not much more. Haha. <laughs> but, in the end, I had more fun slicing through enemies repeatedly than in Brink. So let me put it to you this way, if you like this time period, you like hacking and slashing and having a pretty large skill tree, check this game out, it might provide some fun. I'm not saying it's a great game, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm sure the developers created it as like their first project and they want to have fun with it, it's a decent hack and slash. Just note, it is a budget game, production values mostly suck, and the story is a jumble of shit. And that lever? I swear to fucking God will haunt me. Because now, every time I think of Lever, I think of that stupid bitch saying, Lever, and I'm like, are you for real? Are you for real, bitch? It's Lever. Lever. Can you can you switch the lever? No. I ain't gonna switch shit. I'm gonna take that lever, I'm gonna take it out of the ground, and bash your fucking skull with it, bitch. That's what I'm gonna do. That was going through my head. I might be a little psychotic, I don't know, but the bitch has now destroyed the word lever for me for the rest of my life. I will shut up now, I am sorry.